I'm seeing this set at several stores in the USA. I got mine at Target for $19.99. When I first seen it, I thought it was a two-lane downhill race set until I realized that, wait a second, there's two different exits. So I guess each lane has a different stunt. Up in the corner, you can see that it comes with Leo and T-Rocket. There's two other playsets that have T-Rocket, but with a, a different driver and different colors. The object of the playset is to avoid Shredder. Well, duh. Why would you want to get caught with this guy? He's got a big crushing arm. There's Giant Shredder. Dual lane highway. Avoid a Shredder pounding. Well, that's what we'll be doing for sure. This way it says highway refuge area. So if we take the outside lane, unless they have a crossover, I don't know. Take the outside lane, you just avoid Shredder altogether. And there's the other two play sets. I'll be doing those as well. It says connect sets. I don't know how these, these sets are going to connect with this one here because it just looks like you just drive onto the carpet. It doesn't look like there's a way to connect. Maybe you just put them next to each other and connect them in your play area. The back of the box also shows other Ninja Turtles team machines. I have them today. I'm going to be trying them. This one right here, I haven't found them yet. Hopefully he's coming. That's Mikey. That's Mikey in the patrol buggy. At this time, February of 2015, I haven't seen him, but if I do find him, I'll do a review on him. Up in this corner, oh look, take down Shredder for Turtles victory. So I guess he's going to be trying to attack us, and we're going to find out how we get him to collapse. You can see him falling over. Side panel, avoid Shredder's ramp that forces you off track. Well, of course and escape below. It does not say that T-Rocket is exclusive to this set, but he's not in the two packs and he's not listed on the singles, so he might be exclusive to the set. I only let you know because some people might try to steal the car from the box set and not have to purchase the set. So I see there's two pieces of tape. If you're gonna buy this in the store, make sure that the box is sealed and somebody didn't swipe your car. You can't tell if he's in there or not. It's not in a little plastic bubble. I always cut open the box off camera so I can make this part faster. Some people ask me, why do you even show this part with it coming out of the box? I said, well, you know what? It's just kind of neat to see the contents, how they're packed. These are kind of nice. Look, all packed in plastic so everything stays nice. Nothing should be scratched up because they're all packed in plastic. And sure enough, there's my car. Hey, Shredder! Hey! Sorry. Sorry, Shredder. I forgot to hook you up right here. Let's go ahead and check out the car, T-Rocket. Now, unlike the other T-Machines, he just has a head sticking up, and it's a sticker that shows his body. And if you notice, the sticker's coming up. The other vehicles are a bit nicer since you get a whole body. The, the bodies are not removable, by the way. The other T-Rocket vehicles are metal based plastic body. That kind of gives them a nice feel. T-Rocket is all plastic. But let's go ahead and take a look at all of the sides. It'll be something nice to add to your Team Machines toy car collection. If you like them, pick them up. If not, no big deal. Now this piece here does not snap onto his arm. It just sits in a groove right there. Let's stand him up. Put him in position. In his hand there's a groove. 
The roadway just sits in his hand. It's a little slot. Put it right in the slot. And he'll just kind of hold it up in the air just like that. I should have had this piece. I'm surprised he stood, stayed standing up. Now if you take your vehicle, put it along the inside. There's a little tab right here. I'm going to put them on this side. Let them go this way first. This actuated him to move. Caused the green door to drop down. You can see the green door drop down. And he escaped out that way and off the screen. Now this stays here. We're going to get our vehicle and do it again. Take the same lane. Now the actuator is still here. He's going to hit that. And look what happens to Shredder. Timber! And your vehicle escapes out the other road. Now let's reset. Pick this up, the roadway. First thing you want to do, you want to get this roadway piece, the green one that fell down. You want to pop this back up. Stand Shredder back up. Oh, I, sh I should have put his arm up first. Excuse me. Put his arm up. Put the roadway. Stand him up. Now I got to reattach this or slide it back into his hand. Now we're ready to go. This time we're going to take the outside path. And it's just a freewheel course around the outside, out the bottom. Oops. Reset, reset. It's very sensitive, huh? Reset, reset. Outside lane. And out the bottom. Let's go ahead and take that inside lane. And he's going to hit that trigger. Cause the first step. Oh, too much shaking around. He got cut. Now, the roadway came down for the outside. You can take the inside for the next stunt or take the outside. And it makes it seem like it's a little jump, but really it's more like a flop. Just flops on out. But at least he avoids shredder. Now let's take the inside for the second stage of the stunt. There it goes. So it's important when you reset this, it's important to get this roadway up because the roadway underneath actuates something in here. Oop, I forgot his arm. Stand up. Let's get this back on his arm. Put it here. Let me find the right spot. There we go. Now let's do it again. Can you see the little spot right there that you hit? On the green road. Drop the road. Let's do it again. Timber! Now this comes off. It's designed to stay off. So this way when it's parked you have a roadway. But when you put them together you put it back in the hand. Stand up. Hand up, road up. Let's go ahead and try the party van. Hello. See, it's very sensitive. Let's use the party van and shell razor for this next demonstration. Party van inside lane. Oh, too big. Got caught. Shell Razor outside, do a jump. Party van back, knock him over. Oh, he's too big. Your little turtle, turtle dude gets caught. Uh oh. That means that the smaller vehicles are probably better. Let's try some of the singles that were shown on the box and available separately. Here we have Leo in the At 3, Mikey in Hot Rod. Donnie in the service truck and finally we have Leo in the stealth bike. One thing I noticed right away is that the vehicle included with this set is shorter than the other ones. See how high these guys are and look how much shorter he is. He might work better on the inside lane. I have a feeling all of these guys might get caught by Shredder. Okay our green road is up. Let's go ahead and lift the arm. Do it slowly so it doesn't fall back down. 
Shake out. Success. Safely made it through. Now let's go ahead and try this one. Inside lane. It should make Shredder tip over. Sure did. Oh, I thought I seen him bump into Shredder his leg. Now let's reset. Do it another time. Green road up. Arm up. Shredder up. Road back into place. Hip. You had your turn. Step aside. Here we go. Second one. This should tip over Shredder. Will he get stuck underneath? Yeah, he got stuck. So this one's better to use for the second stage, but for the first stage you can use any of the characters. Reset. We use him for first stage. And second stage. Shoot me. Coming through. Young Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans are probably going to be happy to add this to your set. But if they get frustrated with things that happen too easily, you might not want to consider it for them. If he likes Shredder, maybe it would be better just to get him a little Shredder and he'd be just as happy. Hey, Shredder knocked over Shredder. Have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.